I have encountered passengers squatting in the sink <laughs> doing their business. <laughs> The first story of my mind-blowing experience was uh, I actually met a Hollywood star. When I get to meet my ideal football player, which is Roberto Carlos. It was very eventful and it was a very mind-blowing experience because like, we actually talked about a lot of things, like what was life like on her side. A very amount of things that she explained that I wouldn't actually see as a normal person or wouldn't know as a normal person. In a person, I get to selfie with him because I'm a football freak. Yeah. <laughs> One of my crew, uh, it's her birthday, so we all celebrate on board behind the galley. A few of the passengers overheard me sing happy birthday song and everyone starts singing together. Wait a minute. End of the flight, once we landed, one of the passengers actually bought the duty-free item for the birthday girl. We were doing a red-eye flight, so red-eye flight is basically a midnight flight. And it was very, very severe and massive turbulence. And just that moment when I secured myself, the plane just dropped a bit. And so whatever coffee or whatever drinks everybody was having, it just splashed up. All the passengers had noodles in their hair, along with a cup. It was crazy, it was all brown. That was actually... Quite a funny experience. Don't stand when the aircraft just landed. Just wait until the uh, seatbelt sign is off. Only you can stand. They got to enjoy it though. Yeah, some of them. It was quite tasty. Well, <laughs> once there was a guy and he gave his phone to my colleague and asked me to pass it to me. He was trying to get my number but I didn't give him. He gave you a phone? Yeah, his phone. He called the phone but I didn't I didn't I didn't accept it. I have encountered passengers squatting in the sink <laughs> doing their business. <laughs> when I just open Oh my god! So this passenger having a mild heart attack and he started to collapse in uh, in front of the lavatory. Usually you go panic, you don't know what to do. But I really calm myself, revise back what I need to do. So I just follow the step. We managed to uh, pitch for the doctor on board as well. I, I really helped the doctor taking his blood pressure every 15 minutes. I feel happy because I'm there and I get to experience myself. How are you going to handle this situation? Okay, so the do's and don'ts. Let's see. Print your boarding pass earlier. Uh, neck pillow. You can always call us. Just say hi to us. You can always come to us, cabin crews. Don't drink before flight. Don't change your seat. <laughs> Please, don't change your seat. To always switch off your phone during takeoff and landing. It's so hard for passengers to switch off their phones. We're doing it so that you would be safe. It's only for a while. Yeah, these are the kind of things that passengers and people on board should take into consideration not just for us as cabin crews but for other passengers as well. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to World of Bus. Bye!